Okay, I've come up with something new that I have not seen anyone talk about online or write about in any plant-based cookbook, and that is fresh apricot jam. Mm -mm. I came up with this, it kind of was accidental. I was setting out to make one thing, and uh, and then at the end, I realized, ooh, this is, this is even, this, I could use this as something else. Have you ever done that? Where you just, that's kind of how I came up with the, uh, the creamy onion dip. Uh, I was on my way doing something else in a, in another recipe. And when I kind of came across those ingredients, I was like, oh, this would be so much better over here. So that's what this is. Okay. So let me show you how I put together this fresh apricot jam. You don't need pen and paper. This is way too simple. You can do this on your own. Okay, so I started out with an 11 ounce container of apricots and I soaked them in water overnight. So, you know, before bed, I just covered them in water, threw them in the refrigerator and left them be. Put them in my Vitamix blender and I'm, I'm going to spare you the pain and trial and error of how much, you know, all it took. But I did have to blend and scrape and add water and blend and scrape and add water till I finally got it to the consistency, a jam consistency. And what I ended up, what I ended up with was for 11 ounces of soaked apricots, it'll take about three fourths, maybe one cup of water blended together. Okay. To get it to a, a smooth consistency without any fibrous chunks. Now, technically, a jam would have bits of fruit in it, but um, I didn't want, you know, apricots are pretty fibery, and that's a good thing most of the time, but I didn't want that, you know, if when I go to put this on toast, uh, I didn't really want apricot fiber chunks, so I blended it until it was nice and smooth and gloppy like that. And then uh, I just scraped it back into the container so I could put it back in the refrigerator. Now... You know, jams are typically, when you can a jam, there's a lot of sugar and it has to cook down and it's sticky and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to teach myself to enjoy fruit without all the added sugar. So you're, there's what it looks like. Easy and simple and delicious. Okay, now go find that apricot carrot muffin recipe and watch how I borrowed some of this and put it, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Go over there and see how I use that apricot jam in that recipe. You know what I'm trying to say. 